Hello, uh, here's Sketchpunk with a quick video to answer a question someone asked. They're wondering how do I power my custom LCD along with Chromecast at the exact same time with, with one power supply. Um, it's pretty easy to do. Um, you just have to figure out how much amp this thing is using with the LCD panel and how much amps this thing uses. Uh, with my uh, power supply, that I have one over here, I was able to determine that this panel and the controller board uses up about 750 milliamps. Um, Chromecast is rated for, I think, around 850 milliamps, but they, it probably uses less than that. So let's just round this out to one amp and one amp. So you got two amps of power. Uh, so you need at least a power supply, uh, but you should not get a two amp power supply. I do have one. I've got one that's two amps, if this thing ever focuses. And two amps is just barely enough to run this. Um, and you don't want to have your device requiring more power than your amp, uh, power supply can supply. Uh, it can make bad things happen. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, I'm not an, I'm not an electrician person that per se, but I know enough to be dangerous and to avoid danger. So, so we have at least two amps of power. So I got myself instead uh, this one, which is a, a nice brick. It's 12 volts, five amps. So plenty of power um, to run everything. And in case I need to run something bigger. I, I, at least I have the extra amperages to uh, do everything. Um, and besides, these bricks are easier to plug in to one of these devices as opposed to uh, one of these big monstrosities. Um, so first of all, so five amps. You, you can probably run on three, but they had this in five amps. So you got five amps of power, and you can run power in parallel. Uh, it'll just use up more amperage. So, like I said, it will end up using two amps of power. Uh, this one particularly, I picked specifically because it came with a splitter cable. Um, which makes it makes life a little bit easier for me. Uh, so, I, I split the power. One goes into the controller board. And the other one goes into what this is. It's a 12-volt to 5-volt step-down module. And it, it pretty much give, allows you to take a 12 volt power supply and convert it down to 5 volts USB power. Uh, get one with the, the screw in connectors that make it easier to connect. Now, the only problem is, is that this splitter has a 5 millimeter plug. So I went to Radio Shack, I got a 5 millimeter uh, connector. And then solder two cables to the positive and negative, or positive or uh, live and, and ground. Uh, please double check with the voltmeter every time you do something to make sure you're performing the right positive and negative connections. You do not want to run electricity backwards on anything here. You might end up burning something up. So, so there you go. I got one splitter. So the power comes in from here, connected from the power supply, comes in here, splits. Some power comes into comes to the module, and some goes to the controller board, and and that's pretty much it. Uh, it's really, that's pretty much all I do to power two devices in one power supply. I just run the power in parallel, and use this step down module to provide power for this. Uh, this assistance is a USB power module. You can power anything that's USB, and I believe this one is rated to three amps total. So ideally, I can run up to three amps of USB power through this device, uh, which normally is not really important because most USB devices don't run past two amps. Uh, but I, normally, everything is about one amp to a half an amp of power anyway. So uh, you can ideally run a Raspberry Pi just fine with this and just plug it in or tape it up somewhere, somewhere in here. So 
that's pretty much the explanation of how to run the stuff. I uh, hope this is a good enough explanation. And uh, I'll actually post links to the power supply and a, a module that people can use. Uh, this one in particular is no longer on sale on Amazon, but I can find something that's just as good. Um, thanks. Hope, hope this helps someone.